Intravitreal bevancizumab in macular edema secondary to branch retinal vein occlusion 12 month results. The purpose of this study is to evaluate the long term safety, anatomical and visual outcome following intravitreal bevancizumab in macular edema secondary to branch retinal vein occlusion. A prospective interventional case series study was conducted at Trilonga Institute of Ophthalmology, Kathmandu, Nepal among patients with macular edema due to branch retinal vein occlusion from June 2008 to October 2011. Intravitreal bemacizumab 1.25 mg per 0.05 cc was given at 4 to 6 weeks interval at operation theater with all the aseptic techniques until the macular edema subsided and cases were followed up for a year. Complete ophthalmic evaluation and Measurement of central retinal thickness by optical coherence tomography was done at baseline and follow-up visits. There were 63 eyes of 63 patients were included in the study. The mean age was 58.2 years with standard deviation 12.3. The central retinal thickness at baseline was 515 micron and significantly improved at each follow-up with a central retinal thickness of 233 micron at 12 months. The best corrected visual equity at baseline was 0.82 and was significantly improved at each follow-up, improving to 0.4 at 12 months. And it was significantly improved with p-value less than 0.001. The best corrected visual equity was better in 76% of the patients with a more than 3 line improvement in 55.5% of the eyes. The average number of intravitreal bemacizumab received was 3.1 and average was range was 1 to 6 injections. The recurrent macular edema was occurred in 30% uh, of the cases. There were no major ocular or systemic adverse events. In conclusion, intravitreal bemacizumab appears to be a safe and effective drug for reducing macular edema and improving visual acuity secondary to branch retinal vein occlusion at 12 months follow-up at a tertiary referral eye hospital of Nepal. This is the optical coherence tomography of 52 years female with branch retinal vein occlusion showing marked macular edema at baseline the central macular thickness was 560 micron and visual acuity was 660. After one month follow-up, there was improvement in macular edema with central macular thickness of 258 micron. At three months follow-up, there was marked improvement in the macular, ede macular edema uh, with central macular thickness of 209 micron and at six months follow-up, the macular contour was normal and the central retinal thickness was 184 micron, that is normal.